I'm Christina Lopez Aducci, and welcome back to At Home with House of Pup. Today, I'm going to show you the best way to clean ceramic one hitter pipes, like our little pipe. We obviously love a one hitter, they're great for when you just need a puff or two, and they're so much easier than rolling a joint. You just have to grind up some herb, push your pipe bowl into it, and tamp it down. We especially love ceramic one hitters, and not just because we make them. They also feel great in your hand, and we love their vibrant glazes. But more importantly, using clay allows our artists to make a pipe with an extra long body that isn't overly fragile. That long body is what cools down your smoke before it gets to your throat. And the cooler the smoke means a smoother draw and deeper hits. Plus, I'm not gonna lie, they make you feel like fancy fans. Since the bowls of ceramic one hitters are small, Unfortunately, ash and resin can quickly build up in them. That can restrict airflow by clogging your pipe. Not only will that ruin the taste of your smoke, it can also make your flour burn inefficiently. And no one wants to waste good flour. So, it's important to clean them regularly. I like cleaning pipes every four to five uses because it helps extend its life. That's especially important for your ceramic one hitter. Plant resin buildup can corrode and crack ceramic glass. If that happens, it's unfortunately time to replace your pipe. Why? Because all glazers are made from natural materials. And of course, all of ours are food safe. If the glaze cracks, elements that aren't good for you can leach out. But if you use too harsh of a cleaning method on ceramics, that can actually weaken them and cause them to crack. For instance, you actually don't want to boil a ceramic pipe. That's way too harsh. RB. So, we always want to put your health first. So here's the safest, best way to clean ceramic one hitter pipes. First, you don't need to buy a fancy pipe cleaning kit. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you can use what you already have in your cupboard. And this is so fast, we have to admit, it's our favorite cleaning method for cleaning pipes anyway. So let's get started. We're gonna grab some cotton, some rubbing alcohol, if mom, I asked my mom to go grab rubbing alcohol and she comes back with these cute little pads like Dr. Debbie Salas Lopez does. This will do just fine. Okay, so I've just poured some rubbing alcohol in there. Again, four to five times. Mine's not that bad. So start with just 15, 10, 15 minutes of soaking, then pull it out, go to work with the cotton. I mean, this is just all getting so nice and clean. Give your pipe a good rinse under warm water to wash off any alcohol and extra debris. Let it air dry or wipe it with a soft cloth. A dish towel will totally work as well. And then, I mean, it's just so beautiful and vibrant and it's clean in a way that will protect it instead of damaging it. As soon as it's dry, you can light up and enjoy a puff. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We love, love hearing from you and we'll see you next time on At Home with House of Puff.